Good morning, happy Vlogmas. Um, today is just Bub and I, so got up kind of late. I'm going to see what we have for day, I think it's four in this house. And um, I'm gonna make us something quick to eat since it's just I, um, me and Bubba. And I think I'm gonna finish decorating today too, if I get a chance to. But, um, yeah, like I said, it's just him and I, and I'm going to savor the piece. Okay, so here we go, day four. Just a tab in. And today it is Christmas cookie. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna, I hope this one is good. So let me make my coffee without the cream and sugar and be right back. Okay, the coffee's done, so I'm gonna try it black first and see if I need to add anything to it. Just tastes like regular coffee. I don't taste any like Christmassy, cookie, anything. But, um, I'm gonna add my sunflower milk to it. Um, and if you go back you'll see the sunflower milk so you need you should try it it's pretty good it's um vegan all that you know gluten free and fat free and all that stuff so if you want something different other than like regular creamer you should try that it's a sunflower um milk and i'm gonna put some sugar in it then i'm gonna go make bubba and i some breakfast Okay, so I'm in the kitchen, as you can see. Yes, I slept in this shirt, so. Anyways, um, I just want to show real quick why this oven is heating up. I'm going to make a quick breakfast. I'm not sure if I made the video or not. Uh, Kayla and I filmed it. Um, and I'm going to put some, make some eggs with it. But it's quick and easy. You use um, the Hillshire Farm kibasa or smoked sausage, whatever. Um, well, you can use any sausage you want, really, but these are easier to cut up. Um, and then crescent rolls. This is just Bubba and I. I'm going to um, just do probably half a roll and make some eggs with it, and that's it. And then as far as the this cookie coffee, Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's COVID that I'm having like them lasting effects, but I can't taste any cookie, creamy or Christmassy, whatever. But, um, it's coffee. It's warm. So I'm drinking it. And I did add cream and sugar if I didn't say that before. But while this, while this oven is heating up real quick let me show you this stuff i got um some of the stuff like i said were gifts for people so i didn't want to show but this other stuff isn't we found these and this is going to be part of my little christmas my dollar tree crafts not you know i do those little dollar tree crafts all the time um and we are inviting one of my neighbors over for Christmas Eve this year. She has three little girls. Um, and you know how we usually do like the Christmas Eve. If you look at the previous um, year, we do like a Christmas Eve pajama thing. Well, we invited them over this year. She don't know yet that she's coming, but you know, she's been invited. Uh, oh, this is another thing from Dollar Tree. It's plastic, so I don't know how long it's gonna last. I might have to just try to make a bow with this um, 
the ribbon I got or with some old older ribbon that I have but yeah that's some stuff from the Dollar Tree that I got um, when we were out at Walmart oh no you know what this was from was this from Dollar Tree or Walmart I don't know I don't remember but we saw this Kayla saw this and it's so cute it says pets rock it's a calendar for next year and it has um and we were taking the time to guess like who all of these are you know we know some of them Biggie Smalls Prince and she knew Lady Gaga and Justin Bieber and you know all these other people on here but there you go that's so cute that's one thing we found Dollar Tree has a lot of um different brand candy canes so we got these to taste them because they had a, a whole bunch of them another thing i wanted to try this summer sausage andy said it was nasty i'm gonna taste the piece right out the package but then she said it was kind of pickly so if it tastes nasty i'm gonna try to cook it Taste nasty again? Chuck it. Um, we're making sh little baskets or little bags to give away. And this is um, the toppers we got for the sugar cookies that we're going to make. And this year, instead of gingerbread houses, we are making these that we found. They're Godiva chocolate cookies the gingerbread cookies so we're gonna make these and hopefully we don't eat all the chocolate before but yeah I got you know two of those so Kayla wants to make pancakes and they had these holiday it says holiday green pancakes but it looks like the same one they have for the Grinch so really it's um I mean it sounds like it has the sprinkles in it but um, they're green pancakes and has sprinkles in it. So we'll make that one morning. Another thing that's a popular item that um, Kayla wanted to try were these Mr. B's cookie um, candy bars. This one says quinoa crunch cookie or quinoa crunch chocolate. And then this one's just plain milk chocolate. So... Kayla wanted to try those. And I love strawberries and chocolate. So Hershey's had these new ice cream ones. Uh, it says summer edition. Didn't see them out when we went out. But there's these kisses. And I might put them on top of the cookies too if we have some left over. Also in our little goodie bags, we're making the chocolate covered pretzels. Now, from the sound of it, they might be broken up. If they are, probably run to the Dollar Tree, get um, some pretzels, buy our own dip, I mean chocolate, dip them in ourselves, and make them, you know, make them ourselves. This, we found, their trick. Tricks popcorn. I love popcorn. I like tricks. So let's see if they're good together. And then they also had cocoa puffs, but I don't know where the cocoa puffs went to. Anyway, they um oh here they are. They are cocoa puff um popcorn. So I'm gonna try those. It's just this chocolate glaze. So hopefully it tastes like a um. Cocoa Puff, what do you call it? Like Cocoa Puffs popcorn or something. And they also had, they also had, um, it says maple flavored bourbon 
syrup with natural flavors. So we got that um, uh, cause we need some syrup, but I thought Kayla picked up the one. It was supposed to be something and it had sprinkles in it. It had sprinkles in it. And um, she ended up picking up this one instead. So um, we got this stuff to make cocoa bombs. So you might not see us making the cocoa bombs cause we did terrible last year making cocoa bombs. So if we manage to make some cocoa bombs, then you'll see us trying the cocoa bombs. And then I found this, this is what I was talking about yesterday or day before yesterday this little cocktail um they have the different cocktails and how many is it so it's 10 so we can try them i said andy you know andy saw it she said she was you know wanted to try them too so they tell you the back how to make them this is just the drink mix and we'll probably add that to our little vlogmas I don't have a shaker I'm not gonna be fancy like that but um it's gonna be stirred this time um I think that's about it this so there's some other stuff like I said it's for other people um and they will not be able to see this video and then we have ouch these are candies they're japanese candies they were sent for review so i don't know if they're individually wrapped i'm gonna have to go online because they give you a link to their website and to where you can get them if you purchase them but it says el taro confectionery and it's in japanese some of it says it this says vanilla milk this says, it looks like Ocho Lemon. They're different flavors. But, we we'll sent a box of these to try. So you'll see those. And let me get to cooking this and I'll show you what the results are. Um, I found that I found it on Pinterest I think or it was on Facebook I was scrolling one day and they were um, I think it said everything everything bagel croissants or breakfast wheel pinwheels or something like that but I'm gonna make them they're easy to make it's something the kids can even make themselves they'll like making them and um, and it's quick and you can use it as a snack or take it as a potluck, depending on what y'all have going on at your job. So, be right back. You see, there they are. Like I said, I think me and Kayla made a video on them. But it's just a kibasa rolled up in the croissant rolls. I mean, the crescent rolls. And I'm just going to bake them until the um, crescent rolls are done. You know, they're nice and brown. The recipe that I first did had everything bagel on it, but I'm not going to put it on there today. So, put these in the oven. I'm going to cook up some eggs, and me and Bubba are going to chow down. <laughs> okay. The stove is hot. Not the... Okay, and there they are. They're done. I know I'm going to eat more than just one. But, um, quick and easy. Can't taste them because they're hot. But, um, quick and easy. Something the kids could probably even make. Bye. Um... This is, like I said, doing reviews on some stuff, um, as well as doing my advent calendar and anything that we've done throughout the day. This is an essential oil that was sent to us for review, and it's 100% pure, made from the cinnamon leaves, and it smells great. Um, I mean, it just... It, 
it make it can make your whole house smell kind of Christmassy. If you have like a um like a pine or a balsam candle lit and you get this put this essential oils with it or in your vent um put it on a cotton ball put it in your like wax melt your whole house will smell like christmas um the cinnamon is not overwhelming this and this is a big bottle they also sell it on amazon and i will put the link for amazon but it's a big bottle and to me it works better than the essential essential oils that you get like for better homes at um walmart and um i'm not sure about if bath and body works has some but i know we i used to get the bottles of essential oils from bath and i mean at bath and body works from walmart and this one it just smells good and um i'm glad it was this you know it's this big but you may want to go get some because i also got some eucalyptus from them they had another brand i didn't like the smell of it too much but um the cinnamon and the eucalyptus your whole house will smell like christmas morning okay getting ready to shut this video down or this day down should i say but i'm going to try one of these mixers i'm doing the what is it it's an espresso mixer and it's from columbia andy's here so she's gonna help drink it and taste it <laughs> be right back okay andy's gonna help mix it she's gonna do one shot of vodka two shots of vodka And then, and then she's gonna add the syrup. Just one shot of this, two. Just all of it, all of it in there. And then she's gonna stir it. Oh, that it does make one serving. And then we're both gonna try it. I want it stirred. Just pour it. In. Yeah. I'll just put it all in this one. That looks cute. There you go. One espresso martini from Colombia. Not too much on me spilling this vodka either in the comments. So I'm going to taste it and then we'll be right back. It doesn't smell like anything. You want me to pour it in your own cup? No, I'll just drink off the other side. Okay. I taste more of the vodka than I do. Oh Lord! Of the expressive stuff. I really don't like vodka. Okay, there's Andy. You barely tasted yeah, it. Yeah, I did. That's straight vodka. I can't taste any espresso or coffee, whatever it is. Ugh. But where are you? Uh... One down and nine to go. Peace. <laughs> well, I'm gonna catch me some football. Eat me this salad I made and work off this buzz. Note on that espresso. It actually was good after I, I let it, um, I put it in a refrigerator. I didn't thaw it out. I put it in a refrigerator and it was actually good. So I'm going to try another one. Hopefully it tastes good, but I think I'm going to put the whole box in the refrigerator so they'll be cold because it does say put them on ice. Um, but till then, happy Vlogmas. Bye. Okay, y'all. So today is December 4th. So it's day four of the advent. So today's tea is... Dark Chocolate Orange. And so it's been steeping over here with my tea steeper, my little buzzy bee. And it's tea time. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>